David Irwin realize how ridiculous he looked <laughs> and how ridiculous he sounded? Apparently not. And I was reading some of the comments up under that, mm -hmm. and they're like, you're right, bruh. No, you're not. Don't, don't encourage this foolishness. Mm. Skip. <laughs> Off-season testing for marijuana. They give you an advance note, okay, they're going to test when you go back to minicamp. They're going to test you for marijuana. If you test clean, you good. Smoke away. This is how it works. One positive test, Skip, you're referred to the program. Mm -hmm. A second violation, they find you two game checks. A third violation is four games. A fourth violation is four games. A fifth violation is ten games. A sixth violation, you get suspended for a year. Okay. So how many times has this man had to have failed to get suspended for a year? I get it. Skip, I've talked to a lot of people and some of the retired players, and they say, Shannon, this is a godsend. And I used to be a staunch advocate. No, no, no. But I believe there is a way to go about all things. You smoking a blunt on Instagram mm -hmm. is not the way to go about it. You're talking about medical marijuana. Medical medical. Yeah. Skip, sure. and here's the thing. Every, every medicine ever come out has a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's the abuse of that. Mm -hmm. Because this is what we know, Skip. For every five players that really needed to tolerate pain, they're going to be five to ten that do it because they can. Mm -hmm. Skip, I, forgive me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I do not believe, and I could be wrong, that David Irving is doing this for medicinal purposes. If I'm wrong, yeah. Lord, forgive me. Mm -hmm. And here's the fine line that we got to walk. Because is he Josh, uh, Josh Gordon mm -hmm. or is he doing this for pleasure? Because I have empathy and I sympathize with someone that's going through this. But it just goes to show you mm -hmm. all these people, oh, marijuana is not addictive. Bull jive. Mm -hmm. Because if you can make 50 million, 70 million, and you can't stop doing something, yep. that means it has addictive person. Be it sex or gambling or shopping. Gam whatever the case may be, Skip, you can be addicted to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I just, I just believe he went about it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Not saying that he doesn't make some compelling points, but until the NFL adopt your point of view mm -hmm. or say, you know what, guys, we're gonna allow this, mm -hmm. but we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to come, you know, get mm -hmm. to do our doctors. Yeah, because Skip, you know, you find a doctor write your prescription for anything, mm -hmm. no matter what you need. The opiate crisis, Skip, they were giving them a for very good reason. Mm -hmm. It was when people started abusing it. Yep. When it became a problem, then it became a problem. And I'm afraid that, especially a lot of the retired players, and I've talked to some, says, man, this, it, it helps me, bro, get out of bed. Mm -hmm. okay. And I got no problem with it. If you need it for that, but for me, Skip, for you to do this, to be suspended, I don't believe this is all pain. If I'm wrong, hey, I'll come on air and say I'm wrong. But to be suspended, six violation, that's what re uh, results in. Mm -hmm. And when you knew when they were going to test you for the very first time mm -hmm. and you still do it. Yep. They always say, Skip, you, you either the two Ds. When it comes to the marijuana thing, two Ds, you either dumb or you dependent. Those are the only options. Mm -hmm. Skip. So I'm going to just speak as obviously a Dallas Cowboy fan just watching this last night, just tore me up because I have talked him up so many times yes, on you this have. show. He's an extraordinary talent. We had Rob Ryan on the show mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. just raving about him. Rob says he's the biggest human being I've ever seen in pads <laughs> on a football field because yeah. he looms six feet seven. I don't know what he weighs, three something. Yeah, 310, three. Yep. And... I have seen him in action. I'm not going on potential. I, I'm watching performance mm -hmm. where I saw that game. You'll remember the game at Green Bay. This is in 2016, Dak's rookie year. They yes. went up to and Dak outplayed Aaron Rodgers, and they just did a number on him, 30 to 16. Guess who the, the NFC Defensive Player of the Week was? David Irving. Mm -hmm. He just took the game over, and he forced three fumbles and recovered one, and he had a sack. And he batted down on Aaron Rodgers' pass, and he only played 19 snaps in the game. And you could just see it. You, you see what happens in the middle of the line. He's a defensive tackle. Mm -hmm. 
he just creates havoc in the middle of a line because he just looms up over right. everybody. Okay, so I, I'm sitting last night, I'm thinking, am I watching his whole NFL career literally go up in smoke? Yeah. Right? Go up in smoke? You're watching it live. We're live. What, what, are you, what are you doing? Is it addiction? Is it dependency? I don't know. Is it sad? Yeah. It's yes. just really sad yes. because I just have this, this fear in the pit of my stomach for this kid, and he's still, he's 25 years old, that he's going to wake up at 35 and say, what was I doing? Right. I had it in the palm of my hand. Uh, you know how you know? many guys I've talked to, Skip, when they, they've made bad mistakes and they've done something, wish they had the money that they had lost yeah. through the decisions that they yeah. made. Right. And I agree with you. I think he will look back one day and like, man, what the hell was I what thinking? What was I doing? Did I let $30, $40 million go? Go. And, and the, the, the fame of it, the, the, the achievement of it, where, as you know, you, you become a, a, a made man in the NFL for, forever. You're, you're, you would always be viewed. What if he made five Pro Bowls? Yeah. Who knows if he could make the Hall of Fame? But let's just say he becomes a Pro Bowl player. Well, then, for the rest of your life, you're known as a Dallas Cowboys star. Yeah. In Dallas, trust me, you can trade off that. And you know what, Skip? A lot of times, a lot of the guys have very similar backgrounds. If you listen to the Hall of Famers, all of them, you know, overcame something. And when you get to this mm -hmm. level, everybody's come overcome something, some more than others. For me, getting out of the environment, my brother, we and I, we mm -hmm. talked a lot. But the only thing we really talked about was getting our grandmother out of that environment. I was unwilling mm -hmm. to do anything that would jeopardize that. Now, I've been very fortunate. Now, my, my father, you know, my, grand, my father died mm -hmm. at the age of 39, Skip, because he drank himself. Mm -hmm. My uncles, I have yet to have an uncle to reach the age of 70 on my mom's side. Not one mm -hmm. has ever reached that age. My grandfather didn't reach that age. So I'm thinking to myself, if you know that about yourself, Skip, David, I, look, I, I understand but I believe there was a better way that you could have done this better than IG Live. <laughs> Smoking a blunt in the offseason, talking about you quitting the NFL because they don't see eye to eye with you on what you think mm -hmm. how marijuana should be viewed. Mm -hmm. That's something that you go to say, you go to the Players Association yeah. and you ask them to, to have a panel discussion mm -hmm. and you try and talk to the league. Yep. And eventually, Skip, I believe the league will see to this because they see what they're happening with the pain pill. And everybody, everybody can't, if it says one every mm -hmm. four hours, skip it. They say take one every four hours. Mm -hmm. If I go ahead and take two, yep. and then two leaves mm -hmm. to three, four, five, and I then they think you know. Right. Come on, David, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't want to play in the NFL? Hey, send out a letter. Says, I'm, I'm retiring from the NFL. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to say why. Mm -hmm. But to go on IG Live, yep. I don't know how many people are going to become sympathetic to yep. your plight. Mm -hmm. For the simple fact, you're smoking a blunt in the offseason and you're talking about pain. Yep. What, is that why you got suspended all the other times with because know. of pain? And, and every time I hear him speak, he has intellect to him. Like, like he has the ability to, to think through what's happening because right. it's deep. Mm -hmm. and, and the points he's making about the pain-killing drugs, yeah. they're smart points because yes. they're real. They're yes, right. Absolutely, yes. The hypocrisy involved. Yeah. They're forcing us to take these painkillers, and this is wrong? Right. Well, if you just wait a while, it's, it might be legalized in the next few years and across the country, and then all bets are off, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay? And, and, we, and, and we understand, mm -hmm. but I just don't understand. Does he think by him doing this IG Live that the NFL said, you know what, we saw that <laughs> post that, that uh, David Irving did, yeah. and we now we really need to take this under consideration. All right. I just, I, I, sometimes no. I just wonder what the guys are saying. Look, I don't tell guys how they spend their money, mm -hmm. but I always advise guys... Don't mess your money up. Mm -mm. Don't do things that's going to put you... Because I believe that most of these guys, everybody is taking care of somebody other than themselves. Mm -hmm. Mom, dad, grandma, sister, brother. Everybody is doing that to some extent. Yep. Wife, kids. So when you do things, Kip, I just can't think about Shannon. Mm -hmm. When I played, I had a grandmother, had a sister, had a mom, mm -hmm. had kids. I had to think about them. Mm -hmm. You need to think about other people other than you. And I hope, I hope, Skip, but it's hard for me to believe this dude is... I mean, think about it. You got to fail six tests. You do. And the very first test that you failed, you knew it was coming. Yeah. 
And by the way, you didn't even mention the failed PED test. So we got that so, one. So, on top so of all was that about pain too? Mm. And uh. you don't want a video like this to be something that he lives to regret. And that's mm. what I think everyone. Yes. Regardless of how you feel well, about now, it's out there. It's going to live what, in it's infamy. It's going to live on, yeah. and people are going to worry about the future and just the social media era. Mm. You have to be careful. Two things you'll never be able to get back: deeds done and words spoken. That's a deed. Mm. I mean, you. It might. Have, hold on. He didn't think about it like, you know what, hold on, I want to do that. Well, hold on, wait a minute now. Thinking. This thing going to be up here forever. Well, he mm. If I, nah, I better not do that. I think there's a better way for me to get my point across. <sighs> that didn't really even dawn That didn't even cross his mind, bro. No, Come on, hard. David. Don't mess your money up. Well, I guess he wasn't in his right mind. Yeah. Well, he didn't play this year. Leave it at that. He didn't play. All right. Uh, we are going to move on to Michael Jordan because he did make somewhat of a. Uh, yeah, are you going to excuse this, Ron? But did he actually throw some shade nice, at nice Ron? Nice. Yes. Yes. 